people are probably loud because I just keep on but I couldn't wait to open them. We have cream and infinite, so let's just um infinite things a little bit, so we're gonna do them for mm, got these at Kohl's, you know? Oh dang. Okay. The place people say is cool it actually is kinda cool. Yeah, we have infinite here. It's cool. Okay, yeah, his tail does close. Okay, good. Infinite and the Phantom Ruby. You know what? Don't give a crap. Okay. Cream. The real deal here. The most anticipated figure of the year has arrived. Yeah, she looks pretty ballin' if you ask. If I do say so myself, I swear to Pain, man. Pain. Oh, at least I got one arm out. Um. Look, it's an arm. <laughs> you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna cut to the review part of this review. Okay, I caught her out. But like before we get to the review, oh, look at this man. She's so tiny. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cool. I haven't gotten a new Sonic figure forever. This is Yeah. Review! This one will do a good snap. There! Alright, so uh now let's do articulation. Starting with cream. Um, yeah, we have head. Arms, hands, legs, knees, feet, and then a little tail joint. So yeah, but above average. Uh, but since she's so small, that's it's pretty good. Um, now uh, let's go look at Infinite. So here is Infinite. He has pretty much the same articulation. He's even got tail. Legs, knees, feet, stuff. His knees are a bit more stiff. And his head's a bit harder to move because of all this. And he's got like the tail here. Yeah. Good figure, good figure though. Articulation standard jacks. Slightly above average, but they're nothing special, especially compared to some of what I've been buying recently. Oh this guy right here. But you know, pay ten dollars a piece. So for that, you know, they're pretty ballin'. Um, next we're gonna look at, I guess, accessories, cause why not? Okay, so uh, let's start with Cream's accessory. A little ice cream. Better than what she was originally rumored to have, which was just a ring. It fits in her hand. But it's really a random accessory, like. I'm pretty sure this is from stolen fan art. Put that on screen. Yeah. It's basically, um, Funko moment. And the Phantom Ruby. Pretty nice. It's a better scale. You can, like, almost hold it. You can hear people, I'm sorry. I did not feel like telling people to shut up so I could do this. But I do have music, so I should be able to drown it out. Um. <laughs> Oh, what should I do now? Uh, these accessories are decent, especially infinites. Which he can almost hold. Yeah, baby! So, uh, now let's just let's look at how good the figures look, or whatever. Her team, she looks pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of how they did the mount. I don't know, something about it looks weird. But, yeah, she's painted well. She looks pretty perfect. She looks just like she's supposed to, so. Infinite also looks pretty good. Kinda wish the helmet was a bit less plain gray. But yeah, he's he's pretty solid. Sorry the recording cut out there for a second, but yeah, Infinite, he looks really good. Um Wish this was shinier, wish this was shinier. Other than that, pretty good, pretty good. Um, so next up, uh, let's just do the size comparison, uh, starting with cream, of course. 
There she is next to some Sonic figures. She looks pretty good. And stuff. Okay, so this is Cream next to Marvel Legends, Tom Holland, and Dragon Star's Blue Goku. Very tiny. Yes. So next up is the infinite size comparison. So I get to get out of here. Okay, so he's infinite next to his villain squad and stuff. He looks pretty good. Okay, so here we have infinite next to Dragon Star's Blue Goku and Marvel Legends Tom Holland. Yeah, pretty good and stuff. Yeah, overall, it's two pretty good figures. Two. Probably on the better half of Jack's figures. I don't know, they're not like outstanding. They're no Mecha Sonic or Chaos. But they do go kinda crazy. And are, they are pretty good. So uh, let's say like 8 out of 10, I guess. I don't know, pretty arbitrary. But yeah, so that's the review. Um, bye.